interested in learning a Photoshop technique that will give a nice glow to your images. Nothing over the top, I promise. Hi, I'm Julie from Ultimate Photo Tips, and having recently returned from New Brunswick, Canada, and seeing Canadian photographer Freeman Patterson there, I am inspired to share with you a technique that I learned from him many years ago, and it's called the Orton. Now, in the old days, and I can't believe I'm saying the old days, um, the Orton was done with slide film, and you would take two slides of the exact same subject, one that's completely in focus and one that's a little bit out of focus, and you'd sandwich them together. And the out of focus slide would give a bit of a glow around all the elements in your photo. Well, today that's really easy to do digitally using Photoshop. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, here I am in Photoshop with my image ready to go. And this technique that I'm going to show you will work in Photoshop CS or in Photoshop Elements. So I've got my image with any of the basic adjustments that I want of contrast and it's ready to apply my Orton technique. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the background layer. So that's Command J or Control J depending if you're on a Mac or a PC. So I've duplicated my layer and I like to name my layers so that if I go back into the file later I know what I was doing. So I'm going to rename this layer Orton because that's the technique we're applying. And an Orton really involves creating a blurred layer and then blending it in with the layer underneath. So the first thing I'm going to do is go under my filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to blur this layer. Now, um, you can see from the preview that's showing that I've only got a very small radius. It's not much of a blur right now. For this technique, I actually want to create quite a lot of blur. So I'm going to increase the radius quite a lot, somewhere into the 20s. Now, the number you pick, it's completely personal taste. It's going to affect how much of a, of a glow effect you get in the final image. So you really need to experiment and just decide what you like. I like something like this. So I'm going to choose that and say OK. All right Now, obviously, we don't want our final image to look all blurry. So the next step we have to take is to blend this layer with the one below. So instead of a normal blending mode, which just means that this layer is completely opaque and that's all you see, I'm going to choose a soft light blending mode. Now when I do that, what soft light does is anything in the current layer that is 50% brightness or greater makes the overall image blends with a layer below to make it brighter. So bright things get brighter. And then 50% brightness or less the darker things make the layer below get darker, but just in a soft and gentle way. All right, so I have almost finished, but there is still a bit of a problem with this, and that is that the, um, the dark parts of the image here, here, across the top, have gone very dark and completely blocked up the shadows. So I don't want that. To correct that, I'm going to go to my Orton layer and double click it to open up the layer style dialog. What I'm going to play with is this blend if slider down here. If I move this um, triangle in the black end up a little bit, watch in the image what happens to the dark areas. Okay, I'm going to move it back and forth a little bit. What's happening is that everything to the left of this triangle, right, these are brightness values from dark to light, and everything to the left of the triangle in the very darkest areas becomes transparent. So the top layer is no longer blended to the bottom layer in the darkest areas. Right? So that's going to help us recover some of that shadow detail. And I'm going to start it just, just at the point where that it's, it starts to have an effect. Now the problem we have is we have some pixels in the top layer that are transparent and some that aren't, and a very hard transition between them. So there's a noticeable edge, and we don't want that either. So the next thing we do is we're going to click, we're going to hold down the Alt key and then click on the little triangle and it splits it apart. And then we can drag the top part up a little bit. All right. Now what that's doing is everything, all the values to the left of the triangle are transparent. All the values in between now where I split it transition from transparent to opaque. And then everything to the right of this triangle is opaque. So the brightest things um, do blend through. 
All right, so I'm going to say OK to that, and you can now see our final image with an Orton. Now just to show you what that slider was doing, I'm going to turn off the background layer. You can see that in the darkest areas, all right, the top, this, this top layer is completely transparent, so only the bottom is showing through, and we're not blending in anything from the top. And then there's some areas that are partially opaque, all right, and that's where we're blending through a little bit of the top layer. And then in some areas, we're blending the entire top layer, right? So those areas are the brighter areas. So when I put my background back on, now you can see the final image. Now, just to show you the before and after, I'm going to turn on and off our Orton layer. So this is our after, and this is our before. Okay? So you can see that when we put our Orton layer on, it really just makes the colors seem richer, and we get a quite warm looking glow to the image. So that's the Orton technique. Time for you to go and try it out on some of your images. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and you're ready to try it out on some of your own images. For more fun photo tips, please come on over and visit me at ultimatephototips.com and make sure to sign up for my newsletter while you're there. That's where I share ideas and inspiration that I don't share anywhere else. Happy shooting and I'll see you next time.